South Point is bar none the best team in the state of South Carolina easily. And same with Shelby in North Carolina. The tops in North Carolina and Shelby, the defending, defending, defending state champions, Shelby on a 26 game winning streak, taking on the also defending, defending state champions in South Point here in South Carolina. You look at DK, one word, unstoppable. DK's been starting for South Point since his freshman year. No one in the history of South Point has been a starter since they were in the ninth grade. Dax, he's 6'2", 235 pounds. He is so smart, so good in coverage. You have to have him in that middle linebacker position. It will probably be one of the biggest games in our, our history. So we've played for over 100 years. I know it's going to be a it's going to be a big game. Crowd's going to be loud. Man, are y'all better than Shelby? Are y'all better than South Point? That's what they hear year after year after year. And hey, we got a chance to prove it. If you're in Rock Hill or you're in Shelby and you like football and you're not at our stadium Friday night, then I would say there's something wrong with you. We have won more games than anybody in the state of North Carolina. Since 1920, I'm the fifth head coach. You know, I think we've had one losing season since 1957. So th those type of things, great tradition, but it comes down to great players. Well, Dax has grown up in our football program with his dad coaching. I've never seen a kid with the work ethic that he has as far as the time he puts in, uh, both physically and mentally, and that definitely pays off for him. He's another coach on the field. You know, he diagnoses the formation, the set, the tendencies, and um, gets us in the right position to make plays. Run, let's go. What is it? Snake eyes, stand here. Dax is a great kid. You can tell just talking with him. He's a great kid. Super athlete. He's strong. He's got a motor. He gets to the ball. Um, and when he gets there, he, he brings an attitude. He's the quarterback of that defense, and I guarantee you when DK comes up to that line, where's 44? There he is, okay, let me watch that dude. Wherever I'm running, I'm running away from the direction is because he can dissect the play so fast. Dax, he's, he's a playmaker. He can make plays wherever in running game or passing game. So I, I've been watching my film Friday, Friday after the Beefer game. I was on the bus right back watching film on him. He always getting to the ball. He's a ball hawk, basically, but he's, he's not playing safety, he's playing linebacker. He's a, he's a heck of a player, and uh, I, I would, I'd like to have him on our side. <laughs> BK, he, he loves to compete, almost to a point that we have to kind of pull him back some. He is a quiet leader. Uh, guys follow behind him. You can see it at practice. If he's going hard, everybody's going hard. If he's not going hard, nobody's going hard. You turn to look, you can't throw. And then you say, well, that guy's open. I throw it downfield. He makes that block right there. That's hard. There's nobody I've ever seen like him. It looks like he just scrambles around and then just on his, off his back foot just throws a 50 or 60 yard bomb right, in, right into the receiver's hands. And it's just, the way he plants and cuts is just unlike any I've ever seen before. There's a big matchup when he was sophomore against Northwestern. He played three snaps of offense in the game. He caught three touchdown passes. I mean, that's how good this guy was as a 10th grader. He is just so dynamic. Uh, I've been coaching 20, 21 years. Uh, maybe the best player I've ever seen offensively on, on film. That's the ball right there. We would be absolutely dumb if we didn't put the ball in his hands every single play. So obviously the best place to play him is quarterback, but we can put him at slot receiver if we want to and bring in our second guy and throw the ball out there to him in space if we want to. He understands the game. He'll sit back in the pocket and throw it. He'll rip it 60 yards down the field like he's Peyton Manning sitting back there. Or then he'll take off and run like he's Michael Vick. So I don't know how you defend him. South Point's going to try to run everything through him, and Shelby's game plan is going to be where is number one at all times. You guys are going to go at it head-to-head head Friday. What is your message to DK? I'd say be on the lookout. I might come from the, from the blind side. 
He better put his head on a swivel because I'm coming. Uh, we just have to see what happens. Can't really speak on that too much. Uh, whatever happens, happens. If you haven't left the house and are planning on coming out, you've still got time to make it to see uh, some fantastic high school football in person. And for $7 admission, you get to see some top-notch athletes you're going to be hearing about later on, maybe even later in the pros. Shelby comes into the game 5-0 and on the season with a 26-game win streak uh, and our four-time defending 2A North Carolina State champs. Of course, if you're from the area, you're familiar with the South Point Stallions. Currently won 28 out of the last 29 ball games, three-time defending state champs. Darion Kendrick will get a chance to lead his troops in this first possession. Hollifield on the leading the tackle, actually two or three, but he was the first guy to get to him. Kendrick takes a snap, throws it out to number 13, Ross, who gets out to the 40-yard line, and the Stallions move the change for the first time this evening. Just good defense. Shelby's defense is really probably one of the best that South Point has faced this year so far. And I don't know if the crowd might be picking up the Shelby crowd, but they're packed and they're going to support their team tonight. They're going to be loud all night long. Kendrick takes a little flare pass out to the right side and a big hit. Shelby has been watching film number two, Joshua Smith. Good shot by Shelby. They're real happy with this. In the backfield with Kendrick, it will be Irvin. Handoff down to the, to the left side, gets around the edge. Gets down inside the 10 and gets the sideline in for an end zone for a touchdown. Joe Irvin on a 15-yard carry. Stallions on top, 6 to nothing. Well, and South Point has seven points, but so far, Chet, the defense for Shelby uh, playing impressive and uh, making South Point really work for anything they get. Go with him. Looks like a double pass coming. They're going to throw it to Gilmore. He's going to think better about the pass and just roll out. And Gilmore puts the ball on the ground. It's recovered by the Golden Lions. It is Golden Lions ball. Gilmore does not protect the ball, and the Stallions turn it over. Surratt drops back to his left. He's going to throw back right. Jamari Currents just waiting to come up and make a play. Ball batted up in the air. DJ Davis intercepts it. We're running up the sidelines. Well, South Point's uh, third and short, and most teams are going to run in this. South Point though, has a very balanced offense, not afraid to pass in this situation. Usually it's a flare pass if they don't run. Stallions, Kendrick will take the snap. Drops back, looks left side. He's going to air it out to the end zones. Got Gilmore there in the end zone. Touchdown! Darion Kendrick to Steve Gilmore. Stallions extend the lead on a 21-yard touchdown pass. 13 to nothing. Stallions lead at the half. I'm proud of your effort, but we're better than that. As good as it was, we're better. You left points on the field. This second half team, bro. We don't came out, came back in the air That's game. That's right. Bro. We got a second half team. Hey, Irvin. Hey, I love y'all. I'll fight for y'all if y'all fight for me. All right, no, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, let's turn it up. We get the ball first this time. Bro. Although Shelby is undefeated on the year, they have trailed multiple times during the season, including two fourth quarter deficits that they've been able to rally and come back for. So trailing, nothing new for them. South Point defense only giving up 11 points per game, so they're pretty stingy. Uh, not the biggest defense that Shelby will see, but maybe the fastest. Stallion defense hold them up short at the 21-yard line. It'll be about a yard short, and there'll be a turnover on downs. 
the South Point Stallions breathe a sigh of relief, an eight and a half minute possession that comes up with no point. Stallions take over at the 30, fake the jet sweep. Kendrick rolls to his left, will throw down field, has a man, going to be caught, going to be JP Good in the end zone, five, touchdown South Point Stallions, what a turn of events, DK with a 68-yard touchdown pass to number 16, Ty Good, running a post route mode, got past the defender, DK put it on the money, touchdown Stallions. So uh, Shelby's uh, putting in high gear, they know they need some points to get back in this game. And all Shelby players are still playing hard. They're getting, when they get hit, they don't go down. They really keep their legs moving and bounce out. And we haven't seen them take a shot deep, you know, fake that that play and, and go deep. But uh, may see that at some point in this game with, with the lead, you may not. Kendrick drops back, goes deep. He's got Steve Gilmore stretching the field, catches it at the 15, 10, by fighting down to the one yard line. Ball pops out. Gilmore recovers it in the end zone for a touchdown. Gilmore has it stripped away as he's going into the end zone, but he's able to recover it. Stallions now lead 25 to nothing. The clock will hit zero. The South Point Stallions will be victorious. Nothing to hang your head about if you're a Shelby Golden Lion. You came into a tremendous environment, into a, a packed house against an excellent team. A really difficult place to play, Mo, and uh, lots of credit to those guys. They played a wonderful game of football tonight. Next time on Contenders. The state of Texas, it, it plays the best high school football in the country before the biggest crowds. This game will be the game tonight in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I mean, it's the subtle Cedar Hill. It's the Battle of the Belt Line. It's six miles apart. This is Friday Night Lights. You win state championship, it's going on a water tower. Both of these schools have produced so many D1 and NFL players, but with a guy like Josh Fleece, with the Green Twins, they're special. I already know it's gonna be a big game. Of course it's gonna be sold out, cause like everyone from Studio and everyone from Soto is gonna be there. The atmosphere is gonna be crazy. Like you gotta see it for yourself. This is a big game for us. It's like 365 days you get the bread until you play it again.